Right, hello and welcome back to this uh, series looking at this build of this Hudson Hunslet um, diesel loco in 16mm scale. Uh, apologies in advance for the noise, there's some gardening work going on outside that won't stop. Um, I think they're tree felling. Anyway, um, so if you remember, we're trying to build this uh, this shape from sheet metal to go over the back um, of the loco and over the controls. And it's proving problematic, partly getting this shape nice and right, but also this kind of two almost 90 degree angle steps. Um, in the last video we looked at, I got as far as being able to do this. So I printed this 3D former, um, which with a, a piece of flat metal across the top, uh, pushing down on this using my drill press, um, allowed me to form, form this. But obviously that still leaves um, this 90 degree step. Now, <clears throat> we also talked about the fact that I bought um, this miniature metal brake, um, which definitely folds 90 degree corners, um, but the problem is you can't get, uh, once you've folded one corner, you can't get another one close in uh, to do the second one. Um, if they were both kind of folding the metal um, in the same direction to make like a U-shaped piece, um, you could do that, but because this one, you want to fold this one kind of that way, as it were, that push down here, uh, this is in the way, um, it, it won't clear the, the part. Um, <clears throat> so I've been looking at another another 3D printed former and I haven't tried it yet, it's just come off the printer. Um, so I thought I'd, um, I'd give it a try on camera. So what I've done is I've used the metal brake to fold the first uh, 90 degree corner. I've, I've roughly measured this, so it, it might not quite fit on the, the, the thing, but I just want to see if I can form this this step. So I've got that. So what I need to do essentially is now fold this piece up. Um, so what I've got is these two printed blocks. Um, and the idea being that this piece kind of slots in here. And then we bolt this piece across to hold, hold that in place essentially like that. And then I can literally just kind of push and fold against this edge. Uh, and I'm hoping that, assuming I've measured this piece correctly, um, and this is set back enough, they're not they're not level. Um, it's a bit tricky to see. Let me see if I get the camera. You see, they're not level. So this should be the difference between this piece and this piece um, in this kind of direction should be the thickness of the sheet. So I should be able to kind of squash it. Hopefully, squash it right down. Um, I printed a couple of sets of of holes to try and line this up. Some tiny little ones. Um, which you can just see, uh, and some bigger ones. Um, I think the tiny little ones aren't quite right. I couldn't get them. To, I think I've just mis misaligned the two parts for the, the little holes. But the big holes work quite well. So my plan is to essentially, as I say, try this kind of live. Um, just to use these bolts. These are left over from a, another project um, doing buffer stops in uh, seven millimeter. I think. Um, <clears throat> it was a, a commission previously. Um, so let's push these through, and then I'm going to use these, uh, these hex nuts just just to make sure I get a nice thick, nice proper hold. Now, ideally, I might want to. Um, I would have liked to kind of um, sink the heads into the into the part here so that this was all flat so I could for a bit, bit of a better fold but I can't do that obviously because this piece isn't isn't thick enough to hold them so um, it's one of the reasons I did the little holes at the bottom um, but again I don't think they're quite in the in the right place so anyway I'm hoping this will this will work and yes I'm kind of waffling apologies to to everybody uh, while I tighten these nuts up so I think they're probably just about tight enough let's see let's just give it a quick Nip up, there we go. The same with this one. I mean, they seem to be holding it tight. It's actually causing this this part to bow. But seeing as this is just holding the piece in place and I'm bending against this side, um, it shouldn't be a problem. So my intention is just to kind of push down on this and see if I can get it to start bending in the right place. Um, and kind of pull it back like that. And then use my fingers to kind of push it tight. Um, See if I can push it any further. So I might need to kind of use a hammer or something to get that really tight. It's not um, it's not ideal at the moment. Um, but let's see. 
It might actually it might actually be alright. Let's let's take it out now and see. See how close that is. Um now I have to undo the bolts I've just <laughs> done up again. We might be here some time. Um let's just get this one out. That's one. And the bolts just slide out. Let's have a look. Okay, so that's that's not too bad actually. Um, it's nice and getting the light right. Nice and square. It's you know equal equal distance. I think on both sides. Um, that could probably do with being a bit tighter. Um, but when we actually look at the part, let's see how it looks against the the edge of the part that I need it to fit against. Actually, that's that's not bad. Um, I can uh, that I can probably live with. So I've obviously folded it ever so slightly further than it needs to be. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's a, there's a tiny, tiny little gap behind that part there um, that I could I could try and make that tighter. But in all honesty, that looks pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. I think. Um, I mean, one thing I could do, I suppose, when I before I fold this, once I've got it in place, once I've kind of got it bolted, how was it um, bolted that way, wasn't it? Once I've got it bolted in place, I could have, I suppose, used something to score this ever so slightly. Once I know where it, um, how it lines up, um, I could run a run a tool across that um, just to just to kind of try and force it um, a little better. Um, but I honestly, I don't think I need it. I mean, it's it's. Yeah, I mean that looks that looks pretty good to me. So I think I think that's okay. I think that works quite well. So what I need to do, obviously, is let's have a look. How did I do this? This. Oh, I didn't quite get it right. Look, it's ever so slightly. I didn't quite measure this properly. It was literally just a quick measure off the model. Um, so it's not quite tall enough on this bottom part of the of the fold. Um, but I've got it folded straight across. I've got it folded here. So the other, the only other thing now I need to do, obviously, is actually fold this bit over to make the top. Now I know how to do that in this fold, in this mold. Um, so I would do it. Which way would I do it? I would do it. I would lay it down like that across here and push down. The problem I've got now, obviously, is I need to know where the middle where, where this piece should be positioned so what i'm thinking is that if i alter this block so that it's as wide as this then what i can essentially do is is, is line this up at the edge like that um so that i know that the middle is in the right place i mean i could just try and measure it on on each piece but i'm thinking for repeatability if i literally have something where i just put the metal in and this edge is lined up against the part um then that'll give me exactly the same fold every time because obviously if I you know if I've put this up against here um, and it's flat then this is always going to be the same position relative to this to this curve so if I just elongate this block slightly um, I'm not quite sure how much I'd have to elongate it by probably not very much actually I mean, it's not that's not obviously too far off um, I'll have to do some measuring uh, and see how it works out but I can probably measure the, what that distance should be um, on the 3D on the 3D model um, and then work out how much I need to change that uh, so yeah so that's that's good that'll be the next step I think I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can define that re refine that second that original form tool um, to be so I can position it um, but yeah I think we're getting there that's that's you know coupling that and kind of that together I think should give me should give me what I need I mean in fact this second form is better than this first one here because this one's still got this problem with it bowing up slightly um, but I think we're on the home straight now um, so yeah fingers crossed the next video um, I'll be able to kind of take something that looks like this and complete that final fold to give the the final shape but um, 
again, this this took over a week to kind of figure out how I was going to do this and find the time to actually do the modelling and the printing. Um, so I don't know when the next the next video will be up, but I think we're getting there. So fingers crossed, it won't be too long.